Now let's cover slip bag basics part two. The first thing you want to do with the slip bag is get used to that pendulum, that side to side motion. So the first thing you can do, you're not just going to move your head once. You're going to start with moving your head twice. So when the bag goes out, you slip to the side and slip back as the bag comes back. So watch again. I'm going to slip, 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 slip. Okay, that's the first thing. You can see I started on my left to right, then you do the other side, right to left, right to left, right to left, right to left, okay? The next thing you wanna do is to try to do, you can move on to three slips. So when I do the bag, one, two, three, reset. Well, I can keep going. One, two, three. Go it again, one, two, three. Catch the bag. One, two, three, okay? Once you get that motion, you can add the bob and weave. Usually I'll bob and weave off a slip. So if I slip and roll, slip and roll, slip and roll. When I roll, I'm gonna make sure I bend my legs, not just my lower back. I'm pretty tall, so I have to really bend my legs if I wanna go under punches. So let's watch that again, slip, roll slip, roll. Then I can double up the head movement by rolling more than once. Slip, roll, roll, slip, slip, roll. And then I can just start free flowing and flowing with the bag. Once you get the basic movements down, oh, and the duck, can't forget the duck. You can duck and slip, slip, duck. You can put the duck in there also on the slip bag. Just remember with the duck, the duck should be used sparingly because when you duck a punch, you're still directly in front of your opponent where the slip and the bob and weave gets your head off line and to the side. So usually when I use the duck, I will duck and go. Duck and throw a counter punch right away. Or duck and then slip and start moving my head in combination. So the first thing you want to do is learn to move your head with the three basic movements, your slips, your bob and weave, and your duck. The next thing you can do is start to add punches, starting with the jab, either before or after you move your head. So when the bag swings out, I can jab and slip. Okay, do it again. Jab and slip. Now I can add two slips. Jab, slip, slip. Again. I can add the bob and weave. I can jab, slip, and roll, okay? I can jab, duck, slip. So starting to put the jab out, when, the, when you swing the bag, jab first, then move your head. Or you can move your head first and then throw the jab. Slip and jab, jab. So you can do the slip and jab. You can slip to the other way and throw the jab. I can slip and jab, slip, slip and jab, slip and roll and jab. So you can put, start putting the jab in at any time you want. Normally before or as a counter punch. Then you can slowly start working in your combinations, your jabs, your crosses, your hooks. A lot of times with the slip bag, I like to really focus on counter punching or moving my head and then throwing a punch. So for instance, I can slip and jab, okay? I can slip and cross, or two, number two. I can slip and hook, and then I can keep flowing and moving my head. Then you can throw combinations in between. <laughs> Practicing moving your head. And finally, you can add your footwork. So you start with head movement, add your punches and counter punches, and then you can add in footwork. Remember the twist. I can slip, twist to the side, throw my combination, and then bob my, work my way back in line with the slip bag. I can go to the other side. I can use my leg spring. I can slip and spring to the side, throw my combinations, 
work my way out, go back, flow in, work in the jab, and then I could go the other way. So the sky's the limit on the combinations and the stuff you can come up with using the slip bag. I usually start every one of my workouts warming up with the slip bag. That is all for today. Have a nice day.